I was going to try to change careers and start the world of game programming, but this surely is discouraging because it looks impossible to learn. Did you feel overwhelmed or discouraged when you first started? Uh, no, because I wasn't starting with the idea. I was starting in middle school, so I wasn't starting with the idea of, oh, I've got to do some big thing. I was just starting with, huh, I'm curious if I could write a script that would... I think the first script I wrote was require a password when Windows 95 started up because Windows 95 didn't have any sort of security in it. Um, and I thought I could write a script that before Windows got to Windows, when it was booting from DOS to Windows, I could get it at that stage to put up a password prompt. And I think I was relatively successful in that. I think I only actually got it so that I don't think it actually would check the password. I think anything you hit it would would go through. But that's the first thing I remember writing. And I remember being very confused. Uh, I had a friend of me who was reading a book on JavaScript. I think I had a butterfly on the cover, if I remember correctly. Let's see. It's probably an O'Reilly book then. JavaScript butterfly book. It's just the image that comes to my mind. And I remember it had a section on cats. Um, let's see, JavaScript. Uh, let's see. Um, let's, let's try JavaScript O'Reilly. I don't think it was the Rhino one. Maybe it was Peach Press or something else. Oh. No, I don't think it was that one. It wasn't the good parts. The good parts wasn't around yet. So I'm just, my memory, I'm, I'm having some false memories. Anyway, the point is that I was very confused because he was reading this page that said, essentially, show a cat. And I didn't get where the file for the cat was coming from. And I was just thinking, and he was kind of, if I remember correctly, he was kind of snobby because, you know, we were kind of nerdy outcasts and, you know, so we had to be snobby to, to people because, you know, because we were insecure and all that. But yeah, I just didn't, I just didn't get, and this is Bash, by the way, Bash is not, Bash is not really programming and there's a lot of, Bash looks ugly. Bash is not really a programming language. Bash is a scripting language that sometimes you have to use. Uh, but anyway, the, the real issue was that I didn't, I, I was not connecting the dots on where the file of the cat picture was coming from. Because obviously if you just call a function, you say, show a cat, you know, he was, he was all, oh yeah, it's going to show a cat. And I, and I said, well, but what, how does it know what cat to show? Oh, it's right here. I'm like, you know, I didn't get, I didn't get, well, you got to go download a JPEG of a cat and then you're going to call your file cat.jpg and then you're going to load that into the image tag. So it was, a, he, I, I bet he's a millionaire by now. Um, I was a, a slow starter in that regard. Well, yeah, among, I think his name was Philip, if I remember correctly. I could be completely wrong about that. I think he had freckles. I could be completely wrong about that. You know, false memories and all. Whenever you try to recall a memory, you actually write the memory over again. And so memories get worse as you age. And this is why sometimes people who are actually well-intentioned and not, not trying to lie or embellish, embellish a story many fold when they're talking about something that was from their teens or twenties and they're 70 years old. So some of the stories of people where they, you know, go to believing that they were actually the person that was in the war when really it was their friend Sometimes they're trying to embellish and make themselves look good, but sometimes it's that as they tell the story over and over again, they forget that it was their friend and they think it was them. And that kind of thing is happens honestly. Kind of a weird thing. But uh, yeah, so I did not feel overwhelmed. Also, so I, I hate to say it, but uh, you know, like everybody, I didn't have a mentor. And so I fell into the pit of PHP. Uh, so before college, I was trying to learn... I don't know, object oriented PHP or something. I had a book from, I think it was, again, I think it was Peach Press. I think it was the orange book. PHP 4 and MySQL, I think is what it was. PHP 4 plus MySQL. And that one was a little daunting. Let me see. 
Maybe it was PHP 5 in MySQL. Um, let's be a PHP book. I think it was PHP 4. Yeah, this is it right here. This is the book. This is probably the first programming book other than Visual Basic. The very first one I picked out of the at uh, the, uh, the attic um, or got it at a yard. So no, I think I got it out of the attic because my dad learned a little bit of Visual Basic for doing some stuff in DOS. Because um, he, he my, my grandma wanted to run QuickBooks for his business. And that's kind of how I got a computer in the home a little bit before a lot of other people did. But this was it right here. Um, now this one says PHP 5 and PHP 6. Uh, a press as uh, peach press is a press. Um, but I was really confused because the syntax in PHP is just really confusing. It's just, it's not written by programmers. It's not written for programmers. It was a real hack job that basically because the snobby Python and Perl developers wouldn't give the PHP guy the time of day cause he was too stupid. Uh, he went off and then, you know, they're, they're, it's, it's kind of their direct responsibility for being snobbish that PHP was created. Cause if they'd kind of invited him into the fold and say, Hey, you're an idiot, but we're going to be patient with you and, and, and help you learn and help you solve your problem and, and believe that it's a real problem, then we wouldn't have had PHP in the first place. We'd have a, a better Perl or Python. I, you can't really have a better Perl, but maybe a better Python, um, for the web. Um, and yeah, so it's just, PHP is a terrible language to learn first because it's so daggone confusing. Then I got in school and started learning Java and then then the object-oriented stuff started to click for me because the whole, in, they use weird terms in PHP, associative arrays versus, I don't know what they call normal arrays, but it's just, it's just look, it's a hash map, bro. It's a hash map. Don't make it, don't make it weird. Try to call it an associative array. No, it's not an associative array. There's no such thing as an associative array. It's a hash map. Just like there's no such thing as a sparse array. It's a hash map. Anyway. 